this is an overview. Let's go back to the basics and assign some textures and get this from here into Substance Painter and back again. Here's a sphere, here's a box with some extrusion on inside to inset the faces. I'm going to assign a texture to the box, right click, assign new material, and it's going to be a blend. Let me scroll way down here in the attribute editor, select a blend, and I'm going to title this, what's a great name for this? I know, box mat. And I'm going to assign a color to the box mat, red, sounds awesome. Select the sphere, right click, assign new material again, and it's going to be blend, and I'm going to select the color swatch, make it yellow so it's easy to see. You know what? I need to give this a good name, an original name. What could that name be? Sphere. Sphere? No, wait. Yeah, Sphere Yellow. That's an awesome name for this. Assign a texture to the inside. Select the faces by shift clicking the faces. Assign new material. Guess what? Blend again. I bet you could predict it by now. Give that a color, a nice blue color. And what should I call this? Blue box. Awesome. And out in Outliner, I'm going to name these elements. Box is box. And I guess I should call this round. I bet you thought I was going to say sphere. I'm going to export it now. First, I'm going to save the scene. And then select it all. And export file. Export selection. Of course, this could be FBX. Could give it a great name, props. Time to wire up some textures and substance. File, new. The type of template up here. We have various templates for now. Unity 5, document resolution, 2048. Select the file, and that's going to be the props. And then just click on OK and wait a moment. To maneuver around the viewport, Hold down the Alt or Option key and left mouse button to rotate. Alt or Option key, depending if you're on a Mac or PC. Alt or Option key and right mouse button zooms in and zooms out. Alt or Option key and middle mouse button, if you have one, pans. And as a bonus tool, Shift, I bet you thought I was going to say Alt, and right mouse button makes the light spin around. Excellent. Now we're ready to wire it up. Off to the right side are texture sets, and the texture sets are based upon the material IDs from Maya. Selecting any of these texture sets will reveal the layers that make up this texture set here, and they're empty. We have to wire in some new material. To start, next to layers, click on texture set settings, scroll on down. I didn't use the William mouse, I just dragged that time, and go to bake mesh maps. Click on that button. Turn off ID, which stands for the material ID for Maya. That's not useful for this workflow. Take a look at the output size. Here's a chance to change the output size. This is fine. Leave the output size at 2048. Next, use low poly mesh as high poly mesh because there's not a high definition, high detailed model that, that was created in Maya. We're going to use this option. If we had a higher resolution model that we want to bake the normals down to this to get more details, you would select this and then select the file. Select this icon, find the file, high, bake to low. It's a little more complex than that, but it's not so complex. Another video, another time. As review, leaving this as is, click this button, click on our choices, just bake what is selected here, or bake all texture sets. I'm going for all texture sets. And wait, and wait, and wait, and wait. Wait a little longer, and it's almost there. I bet it's going to pop right to 90. Nope. 100. There we go. It's done. Taking spin around. Excellent. So review your model after the baking. To assign textures to all this, pick the texture set that you want to assign a texture to. So texture set, layers, click on the layer. This is an easy one. Going to drag gold, or actually aluminum, here, looks gold. That applies this material 
to this layer of the sphere. To delete a layer, click on a layer. Don't need the empty layer. Press the trash can. Excellent iconology. This layer system is used to build up the material. If there's a scratch on the surface, right now it'll show through to nothing. Maybe beneath the scratch on the surface is a cement color because this was spray on metal. That's the concept of this layer system within Substance Painter. Assign the rest of the materials to this object, going to the box, original name, smart material. Smart materials are regular materials with generators to create smudges, grease, edgeware, things like that. Drag it to here. That's looking pretty awesome. And the last thing is to fill in the blue box, which are the insets. Is there a cool smart material to use? Well, I guess plastic is cool. And that's it. As the box is rotated around, the plastic has ripples on it, and they're showing the reflection of the scene. Time for the light show. Light show is shift, left mouse button, and you can view your object. Rotate around it. Looks excellent. Let's get into Maya. File, export textures. From the configuration, select Arnold 5 AI standard. If you're using Arnold 4, then it's Arnold 4 AI standard. Odds are you're using Arnold 5. That makes it Arnold 5 AI standard. Pick the right location. The right location isn't just a random folder on your computer. No, because by now, everyone's been setting up projects within Maya. That gives structure to your project. Go down to source images and plug in that as the folder name. When you open Maya, you will be able to quickly find the images that was just exported. These are the different materials that are exporting and of course you want all of them. So leave them all checked and then click export. The export button is a little shy. There it is. Click export. Next stop Maya. Oh, wait. Next stop is waiting for this progress bar. It's almost there. Come on. You can do it. And, and there we go. Now the next stop is Maya. That's a treat. I'm showing the menu system. I know, no more guessing which menu is selected. Open the previous file. File, and I guess that's a wasted step. I should have just opened the previous file to begin with. But for those who forgot how to open a file, you now know how to open the file. This is the file. I'm going to save it. File, save as. And the reason I'm saving it, because I want the base file to hand out. To wipe the textures that were just exported from Substance, select an object, sphere in this case, control A if you don't see the attribute editor, pick the material slot, gee I wonder which material it is, oh look it's the one all shouting in capitals. Convert this material to an AI standard. You go to the material, go to material type, and select AI standard from the drop down window. Scroll, 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 and AI standard surface. For the color swatch, oh wait, before I go to the color swatch, it changed the name. Darn, I guess it didn't like my shouty letters. Let me just shout sphere again. Because we don't know if it's really a yellow sphere. It's kind of a gold sphere. Under color, select the input. That's file. And from the file folder icon, just click on it. And from there, oh, wow, because the textures were saved in the right place and the project was set up, it knows exactly where to find the textures. Amazing, isn't it? But don't want the blue box. Want the shouty sphere yellow base color. Open. I don't see anything. Oh, no, what did I do wrong? In the viewport, press the 6 key. Clicking on the sphere again, wire up the other slots. Color, diffuse roughness. Click on it. File, I see a pattern, a pattern that's going to eat into some of the time. Not metalness, roughness. Next, click on sphere, metalness, two to go. Oh, why does it look like that? Because the metalness map isn't wired in yet. 
And the last one, clicking on Sphere, scrolling down, I'm using Willy Mouse to Geometry. And for the bump map, it's going to be the normal map. Oh no, where did it go? It's supposed to be here. Click on the File tab. Now you'll see the folder. Second to last one in the list. Going to light up the scene. Arnold. Light. Sky Dome Light. Hit Render. Let's see what we got. There we go. Viewport was very deceptive. I thought I did something wrong. I should have known better. Next step, wire up the rest of the materials. Selecting the box. Finding the material and when your attribute editor gets so long and you don't need any history just click on this button which is edit delete by type history and that makes it a lot shorter easier to find things the box mat which is the red color convert that to an AI standard don't scroll so fast I overshoot it there it is for color to color Next, click on the object, give it its name back again, the box. The other three slots have to be wired. Excellent, all done. Oh, the inside box. One more to go. Now it's done. Render it out again and take a look. Selecting this one and this one will show how the actual image will render out. Clicking on render. Awesome, right? 